Hey everyone, welcome to Heavy Metal. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of testing on this car door. We're going to use the back door here where I spray some of that yellow paint. What we're going to do is see if a 12 gauge double op buck and a 12 gauge slug go through this door and how far it will go. Will it go out the other door? I mean, who knows? 12 gauge, pretty powerful round. And I thought this would be a really cool, fun test to give that double eye buck and that slug. This door here, as you see, has been shot before. This whole car has been shot before. But it has not. But it does not have enough holes in it yet, so we really need to get busy on it. Let me show you what we're shooting. All right, what I'm using is my Marlin. Model 55. Yeah, this thing's got a little age on it. A bolt action 12 gauge. Yeah, with the bolt actions, you feel it all right there, buddy. And for the ammo we're going to use, first up, I have some, uh, what is this, Remington 12 gauge, 2 and 3 quarter. It's hollering 1325 velocity. This is a nine pellet, double eye buck, some high brass, so this is some pretty good stuff right here. That should uh, let that no door know a thing or two. And second up, I have some Federal Premium True Ball. This is a uh, 12 gauge, three inch, 1700 feet per second. Uh, yeah, I'm going to feel this one in the shoulder. That's for sure. And there's what that critter looks like. Yeah, that's a lot of lead to be slinging down range, no doubt. Well, now that you know that we're up to, throw down in the comments what you think. Think it'll make it through one door, both doors, or, you know, what do you think is going to happen? Well, let me get this geared up. And we'll make these shots. All right, first things first, get our ear protection on. Yeah, these work really well, guys. And we're going to do our double lot buck first. And I'm going to aim towards the top of the door there where I have that uh, yellow paint. And actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to hip shoot this, so that way I can try to stay more level with the door, and then we can get a uh, good view of the hit. I'm roughly about uh, seven, eight feet away from this thing. Alright, first shot. Yeah, man. Well, from this distance, a double op buck did not have time to spread out. Well, let's see what that done to her. Oh, uh, yeah. Blow the hole in it, that's for sure. Yeah, and you can see where it comes through the inside panel. Did it have time to spread out and maybe get some over there? Or did it even make it through that door? Let's see. Well, far out. We have one dent there and three exits. That really surprised me, I have to say. Now that was cool. You know what's really surprising about that? We did not even hit the camera. It is right here. It's just pure luck what that was. Cool, cool. Alright, well that double eye buck went all the way through everything. But I was sort of figuring that it would, but I wasn't really sure. But let's try this slug. And just see. It'll probably go through everything, especially being a three-inch slug. 
But we want to see like the size of the entrance hole and the size of the exit hole and just see what kind of damage path this thing's making. Same thing, I'll just hip shoot it. And there we go. A big nasty three inch slug. Like saying hip shooting it, my shoulder's not gonna feel it. But my hand will. Alright guys, I'll shoot over to the left a little bit of that one. And hopefully we don't hit the camera. Oh yeah! Well, there's what happens when you got a gun that's chambered for two and three quarters and you shoot three inch out of it. They will get hung up in there. But, didn't hurt this old shotgun none at all. Alright. Well, I can feel the power in that one when I pulled the trigger. Let's go up there and see that hole. Let's see how it went through and how it exited. Alright, as you can see, our entrance hole there. Yeah, looking pretty awesome. And yeah, we definitely got daylight through there. Man, it tore up Jack. Grabbed a bunch of stuff in there. I think I see that exit hole right over there. Oh yeah, we missed our camera. Good deal. And there is the exit from that slug. That thing traveled through. Went right through there, right beside the camera. That was cutting it close, guys. Yep, right down there is where it come through. Well, I almost got the seat with that one. But that's a pretty good size exit hole there. And there we have that. With a 12 gauge double eye buck or a slug. Go through a car door. It sure will and come right out the other side. Uh, both of them shells right there. Uh, didn't hold nothing back. And they done a good job on that door. No doubt. Well everyone. Hope you enjoyed that video. I enjoyed shooting it. That was fun. It's always fun to come out and shoot up the old car. Uh, we still got some panels left. More than likely we'll be junking it soon. So if you have any suggestions on anything you'd like to see shot at the car or what have you, throw it down in the comments and we'll try our best to do it. Again, appreciate you watching. Uh, if you would, throw me down some comments. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And please like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it much. Until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.